Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is what t um, IXL. It's Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities by Graphing. So here's our first one. I have to graph x equals 2. Pretend like this is x equals 2, and that's right here. It's a vertical line, x equals 2, and it's dashed. Now, I'm going to keep track over here of what's going on. So pretend like this is the origin. This is 0, 0. There's my origin. And I know I have a line right over here off to the right of it. I'm not going to draw a full origin or coordinate system in because I think it's going to get confusing. But let's test the origin against this equation. Let's test it against x is less than 2. Is 0 less than 2? Is this true or false? Well, that's true, which means this is the side I need to share, shade. If it were false, I'd shade the other side. Let's go with this one. x equals negative 7. And it's solid. And now let's test it. It's over here. Let's test 0 is greater than or equal to negative 7. Is that true or false? Is this point true against this line? 0 is greater than negative 7. That's true. This is true against this line. So I'm shading in between the two. Let's do it again. x is uh, y equals negative 7. y equals negative 7 is right there, and it's solid. And now let's test it against 0, 0. So this line right here is 0 greater than or equal to negative 7. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 7? Yes. This point is true against this line. So I'm shading on this side. x equals negative 1. That's right here. Let's draw that guy in right about there. And let's test him. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 1? Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 1? That's true. So this point is true against this line, which means I'm going to shade this side. So it's right up in here. This is the area that needs to be shaded. Um, right there. And let's test our line types. Solid and solid. That looks good. Right? Notice I'm using a whiteboard to do this. I'm not doing it in my head. Purple line. Y equals negative 2. That's right here. And it is solid. I want to keep track of it, though. Testing against 0, 0, 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. 0 is greater than, yes. This point is true against that line. So I'll shade that side of it. Go to negative 8. Go up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 over 1. There's that line. Let's test it against 0, 0. 0 is less than or equal to 0 minus 8. 0 is less than or equal to negative 8. True or false? False. This point is false against this line. So I shade the other side of the line. So it puts me in this region right here. This is my region where I need to shade. And I'm going to check my line types. They're both solid. They're both solid. See, y equals negative 1. There we go. And that's solid. Let's test it. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. That's true. That means this point is true, which means this side is true. Testing my other line. It starts at 10 and goes down 6 over 1. Start at 10, go down 6 over 1. And that is a dashed line. Draw that in here. And let's test it against 0, 0. 0 is less than 0 plus 10. 0 is less than 10. This point is true against this line, which means this side is true, which 
means this is the area where it's all coming together. Checking my line types, dashed and solid, that looks good. Again, remember this represents the origin, 0, 0. y equals 7. Let's test that against 0, 0. 0 is less than or equal to 7. That's true. This point is true against that line. So I'll shade under that line. Start at negative 8, go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, and that's dashed. So I have a line over here, something like that. Let's test it against 0. 0 is greater than 0 minus 8. 0 is greater than negative 8, which means this point is true against that line. So it's that region, the region that includes the origin. there. I'm going to check my line type, solid and dashed. That looks good. Brilliant. And now I've got one or two equations that are both in slope intercept. Let's graph this first one. So you start at six, you go up one over one, and it's dashed. So right about there. And let's test that against 0, 0. So 0 is less than 0 plus 6. 0 is less than 6. That's true. This point is true against that line. So I shade under it. I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to go up 6 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1. Right about there. That guy's solid. Ooh, I can still test 0, 0. He's right there right there, but 0, 0 is not on that line, so I can still use it as a test point. Let's test it. 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 1. 0 is less than 1. That's true. Interesting. So I need to shade under this line, and that, I, got, I have to shade this region right there. 0, 0 is a solution to both of those, under both of the lines. Great job. So what is that? How many minutes? So 8 minutes, and I'm up to about a 50. My, I just want to encourage you to get the whiteboards out. Get a piece of paper out. If nothing else, graph these on a piece of graph paper. Keep track of it. You notice I'm not doing this in my head. I keep track of it. You know, I'll try to do it in my head. Here, let's do this next one. I'll, I'll try. All right, negative three, down three over one, dashed line, and where do I shade? Actually, I could do this. Um, yellow, is it orange or yellow? Orange? E Look, I'm still keeping track of it. Orange? Above or below? Zero is less than negative three. Zero is less than negative three. That's false. This is false, which means I'm going to shade below the orange. Now let's go to green. Green, I start at one. I go up four, one, two, three, four. And I have my line type right. Let's test 0, 0 against the green. Zero is greater than one. That's false. So zero, zero is against the green is false, which means I have to shade above the green. All right, so below the orange and above the green is this region right here. Check my line types, dashed and solid. That's good. What do you think of that? Writing it down and going below and above and then sorting it out like that. Do you like that better than this thing I was doing over here with the origin? I like it better, maybe. I'm going to do one more. 
just to test this out. Okay, so I, I graph my purple line. Start at three, one, two, three, four, go over, and I get my line type, which is solid. Good. Purple line. I'm going to test zero, zero. Zero is less than or equal to zero plus three. Zero is less than three. That's true. Zero, zero is true, which means I shade under the line. Let's go to orange. I start at negative one. I go down four, one, two, three, four, over one. And I get my line type. Let's test it against zero, zero, orange. Zero is greater than zero minus one. Zero is greater than negative one. That is true. Zero, zero is true for the orange, which means I shade above the orange. Okay, above the orange and under the purple. That's this area right here. Above the orange, below the purple. It's this, this region. There it is. I like that. Oh, I keep hitting submit. <laughs> nice. I like that method. This is good. All right. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.